I'm a terrible whistler, by the way, folks. <clears throat> Watch on my TV, huh? Yeah. All right, when you're in the house, let me know you're here. Jay Taylor. What's up, Jay? How are you today? How are you? How was your weekend? Hope it was good? Did you have fun? Or did you work all weekend? I hope you got a time off. Let me turn that down so you don't get weird feedback. Oh, Jay, 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 how are you? Who else is here today? Who do we have in? I got a bunch of announcements and stuff. Um, close, a, a really big announcement. I have uh, a nice reading I have. Hey Lee, good morning, how are you? Um, so, when everyone's here, I, I'd like to get things started with a, a couple of announcements on things and then show you some of the pretties I have. Um, pretties, I have pretties. Not too much today, but uh, this way I can jump right over and start packing a lot of your Kickstarter orders and all the other stores so we can get them out and in your hands as soon as possible. So, yes, 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 yep. If I was Japanese, they'd call me Itchy Nosy. <laughs> Bad joke. Uh, okay, so, since this is everyone here, so it's birthday, Saturday, I found out my own. Oh, dude, that so sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. My condolences to your family. Um, but um, happy birthday to your boy. I hope he had a, a, a good birthday, uh, regardless of the bad news your family had to suffer. So my condolences, because pets are just like any other family member. I don't care what people say. They are a member of your family, and when you lose a pet, it's, it's, it's legit. All right. I just got... <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. So... Couple things, couple things. First things first. Monday, January 4th, will be my last day doing this show here on this platform. Uh, it has been fun. It's been uh, about a year we've been doing shows, so don't worry. Uh, we're actually moving to um, same time, three o'clock Arizona time, so whatever that time it is for you guys now, my time don't change, <laughs> but we're going to be gone. Coffin Comics TV on YouTube doing a 30-minute live show on Mondays, probably starting the 11th of January. So I just thought it'd be appropriate to maybe uh, after we get back from the vacation uh, to do a last show here uh, on that Monday. Um, so this will be three more shows uh, here at the... Um, Cop, uh, comic Book Shopping Network. Um, we are going to go to a new format on YouTube on the Coffin Comics channel. It'll still be the same time. It'll be 30 minutes, and it'll be all fun. So I wanted to announce that to all you here, so pass the word. Three more weeks here, CBSN, and then we're going to YouTube. So if you haven't subscribed to the Coffin Comics YouTube channel, I highly recommend you do. Also, oh, wait. I'm still wearing my sombrero. Excuse me. Pardon me. Sorry. Wrong season. Wrong season. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Better? Okay. <laughs> uh, thanks to uh, Dakota and Brandy for uh, making this awesome uh, seasonal hat, Santa hat that's black. It's got the hooligan. I love it. So thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. Let's see if this looks good. All right. I'm actually shooting good. I'm glad we have a table. Ha! Ah! So yes, thank you, Haley. Um, so everybody, please, please, please join me each Monday here. I'll be doing a Monday show at my house and a Wednesday show at my house during the uh, holidays. So come visit me and my family members. We'll be doing a Halloween, or Halloween show. Well. After Christmas show and probably around New Year's. Yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday. Anyways, it's never the wrong season, is <laughs> True that, true that. So, anyways, 
Uh, I just want to say for everyone who's joined me for the CBSN, um, thank you very much. Um, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a fun place to uh, meet a lot of you and get uh, some new people. Carmen, how are you? It's good to see you. <laughs> thank you. I love that too. <laughs> I, I look like uh, I need an axe and I'm going to go slaying. <laughs> Are you cutting bitches? Well, with this hair, I look pretty psychotic in this hat, <laughs> but I love it. You look pretty psychotic anyway. Well, that's okay. That's, <laughs> I was I was made that way, genetics and all. So, <laughs> real quick, uh, grab that. Really oh wow, you did, Carmen. Oh well, that was the only one I had. So good on you. All right, Carmen grabbed the Oblivion Kiss stretch goal set. She didn't have it. Well, you got the only one I can find. Thank you. Carmen Lady. Everyone. God, look at this love fest going on over here. All right. So let's get the things rolling. First things off, I want to read another poem by the talented Jay Taylor. You got to turn it on. <laughs> I didn't want the batteries to die. All right. This is A Coffin Christmas by Jay Taylor. <laughs> here we go. Twas the week before Christmas and all through HQ. Kickstarters were picked, yes, more than a few. Packages stacked in the warehouse with care for UPS and FedEx ground and air. The fiends, we wait for that email of wonder. Your order has shipped and we cheer loud like thunder. <laughs> Francisca and Brian sit down to final rest, knowing the coffin crew have done their best. The crew have worked long days and long hours, exhausted they ache, uh, longing for showers. That's, that's true. <laughs> and the occasional tears. <laughs> All except one, of course, hopped up on coffee, Brandy Licks packages to send them to Aussies. <laughs> New kids blasting from speakers yeah! right and left, while some of the crew scream out, Justice for Jeff! No. The hooligan assembles the medals in his shop <laughs> outside. <laughs> Life fees are awesome with fun that don't stop. When out of the lot, a sound oh so gnarly, coffin claws appears on a skull laden Harley. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I come for the books, the prints, and the cards to give the swarm the fiends and diehards. His bag loaded up with good strap to his back to deliver to those who are sworn to the black. He rides off, he looks to the right, Jimmy the boy sound off, he who flees the light. <laughs> this is so good. I love he it. bangs his heads and drives out of sight saying, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Jay Taylor, everybody. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Jay. I love these. I love these. So these amazing. Again. Anyone else, if you got some poems, I'll read them. I'll read it. If you want to bring in fan art, I'll show it. This is the show about coffins. It's for you. It's for the coffin crew. It's for all of us because we have a great community. And I'd be willing to share whatever you guys want to bring to us and show it off. Just to show everybody, look at what we made. Hype it up, Randy. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> and the block. Come and the block. It. Yes, we're sworn to the black and the block. Uh, no. Yes, you are. I am not he swearing to new kids of the block. Wow. Okay, 1988 called Get Out! <laughs> you all. Jay, that was a beautiful Thank ball. you, Jay. We loved it. It brought so much joy to all our hearts. So yes. We love you. We love you. Thank you, guys. This has been great. Um, and also to let you guys know, right after I'm done with this, I'm stripping off the jumpsuit, taking off my hat, and I'm running out there to pack some stuff and put them in big sacks. That didn't sound as good as Jay's, but hey, I'll try. I'll try better next time. So let's get it started, and let's show up what I got. First things off, I have a Merciless Onslaught, number one chase edition. I did not mean for that to rhyme, but hey, I'll take it. I only got one of these. What is inside? I don't know. I don't know. Should I? Should I? No, I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to show you. You got to find that yourself. But I want you to show everyone else when you get it. So, got one of these. One Merciless Onslaught Chase Edition. Also, sometimes mail gets abused. 
Sometimes things come back, and they have a little nix here, but they're still beautiful books. And they're great reader copies. And they're the copies that you don't mind handing off to let someone read, because hey, you have your gems tucked away safely with booby traps. So I have here, Merciless Onslaught Chase Edition Blue. It is a scratch and dent, it is sold as is. It's the only little damage right up here, but I can't sell it for a minute. So I got one. Good price, great value. Get it today. It won't be here forever. I only got the one. Uno mas, uno mas, uno mas. All right. Another item I have for you today is a holofoil Nut Mouth Symphony. Mm hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love our holofoils. I think that. That one is probably one of the best ones we put out, too. All right, I also got some other scratch and dent stuff. I have the Leviathan, Lady Death, Nightmare Simply Leviathan. These used to be on eBay. Now they're here at the Coffin HQ at the Coffin Shop. Go ahead and click on the link and pick up the selections today. Don't delay. I only have, what, five of these? Five, six, and that's it. And these are really good prices. These are scratch and dent. Great value, great reader copies, guys. Get them while I got them. Also, I forgot to introduce my cohort for the holiday season, Josh. This is Josh, my Christmas tree. How you doing, Josh? He's doing good. He's doing good. So um, normally Josh is by my desk, um, but I thought he'd be a nice decoration for the festive season. And um, I thought he should you know, co-host the show with me. So everybody, give a warm welcome to Josh. Josh is back, but soon he will be leaving. <laughs> Okay, we're going on. Next up, another scratch and dent. I only got five. These are really sweet deals, folks. Lady Death, Nightmare Symphony, homage. These homage. It's homage to Detective Comics 27, first appearance of Batman. Get them while I got it. <laughs> please do, Landon, please do. <laughs> You know what? I'll, I'll talk to Jimmy. If Jay's okay with that, I'll see about putting that in the VIP newsletter. Jay, if you're cool with that, I'll ask Jimmy. Uh, I think that would be very good. Well, you know, I, I can talk into some ears for you, Jay, because I really love these poems. I really like these. And like I say, guys, if you have fan art that you want to send in, Send it in. I would love to show it. I would love to show your guys' love of all things comics. Because, hey, we feel it. We know the love. You guys ooze it out. You guys just radiate passion for Lady Death, passion for Coffee Comics, passion for Hell Witch, passion for La Muerta, and all the other characters of the Coffinverse. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, what's up, Daryl? Two dogs in the house. Another scratch and dent. Another scratch and dent. Have no fear, have no fear. I have the Nightmare Super Secret Edition. I believe I have like only a couple copies and that's it, folks. Dos, dos, dos. Really good deals, really good deals. Also, another really cool thing that was found, um, and this has already been scooped up by Carmen, but I had a, found a, um, a stretch goal pack from Oblivion Kiss Complete uh, was given to me um, when they were in uh, HQ over the summer, uh, getting everything cataloged and, and up on the show, or on the store and whatnot. I can't talk too well today, it's a Monday. Um, they found this, uh, and I was shocked. I, I was just like, okay, what, what can I do with this? What can I do with this? So I went ahead and saved it until today, and I put it up. It's already been taken down, but I don't know if anyone's local here in Arizona, this is kind of like a Ladmo bag, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Ladmo bags were, uh, there was a show in Arizona that had, um, called the Wallace and Ladmo Show. They did uh, weekly sh cartoons, um, routines. It was like a Saturday Night Live show for kids. And parents got it on another level, just like the Looney Tunes uh, cartoons they showed. So, um, this right here has everything included. There's the button. We got trading cards. Really nice little, uh, Beautiful print here. It's a little postcard. Yeah. Gorgeous. 
a mint. Carmen, if you don't want the mint, I know they're kind of old, but I, I like them. Um, I think it's, you know, a mental issue I have that I, I like outdated um, mints. I, even with the little slight dust, taste of dust, I, I don't know. I like it. I'm weird. I know. But, you know, I'm working at Coffee Comics, so I'm allowed to be weird. Um, so we got buttons, trading cards, bumper stickers, doorknob, or do not disturb sign, and 152K Lady Death Fantasies Edition. Also, really nice print. So all of this, I found if I find more stretch goals, old ones especially, I would definitely be bringing them to the catacombs for you guys. So if anyone is new, um, just thought I'd let you know, there's some links off the side. Click on those links and that will take you to where the items are. And not only that, not just the catacombs, we have tons of other items at the shop that I think you guys would all like. And also great Christmas ideas for the Lady Death Coffin Comics fan in your life. Okay, next up, another amazing, two of my favorite covers. These also are scratch and dent. These are sold as is. Uh, they were con stock that, well, they took a hit um, somewhere down the line. But I have the Oblivion Kiss Vampire Hollow Foil Edition, and that's homaging the um, amazing Vampira, uh, really awesome uh, horror uh, hostess uh, from the 1950s, 60s. Um, really, really awesome, awesome, awesome woman. Uh, if you'd like to read up on her, she had a really interesting life and she was definitely ahead of her time. So, next up, Merciless Onslaught. This is the Carmia Hollow Foil. This is a scratch and dent. This is also, uh, I believe, the only one. I don't even think I have anything left in the vaults anymore for these. So, these are sold as is. Um, Great reader copies, maybe great something to uh, hang on the wall. Uh, I love these. Uh, these are some of my favorite covers we always did, so that's why I like showing them off. Let's see. That's why they hurt me. <laughs> well, Carmen, I licked your book. No, I'm just kidding. I'll take care of your book. You know that. Also, another scratch of dead item I found. This is Hellwitch, the Forsaken Jeweled Edition. Really great value for one copy here. Like I say, it's a scratch and dent. There is some slight scratching and damage to it, but hey, it's a really great value. And it still looks beautiful. It's a very beautiful looking book. And I present it to you. Also, all you Don McTague fans, Don McTague fans, I have for you three copies of her art book draw. I'm really happy I found these. I'm glad I get to sell them here to you guys and all you Don McTague fans. So definitely uh, pick up these copies. I believe I only have them for $40. There's three copies available right now. So all you Don McTeague fans, pick up her art book. The Art of Don McTeague. Got three of these beauties. Let me bring it down a little bit. So for all those who have joined us, um, I announced earlier, um, January 4th will be the last show here at CBSN. The following week, we'll be doing a 30-minute show at 3 p.m. Arizona time uh, at the Coffin Comics YouTube channel, Coffin Comics TV. So subscribe and get notifications. We're gonna start doing um, some fun little content on YouTube next year, and I hope you enjoy what we're gonna be putting out there. Uh, we have some fun ideas we're bouncing around, so. Um, hopefully you enjoy what we're doing. So January, I think it's going to be the 11th. We will be on YouTube on Mondays for 30 minutes. So it's been really fun here doing the CBSN. Um, we'd like to thank all the group uh, for inviting us. I believe we are the only publisher they had on here for a while. Um, but we're definitely going to be going to YouTube and I hope I'll see you all there. So. Just to let you guys know, thank you, thank you, thank you. Her art books are really nice. I would love to see the Joel Gomez one. I have yet to see his art book, so um, if anyone could show me some interior pictures of it, I'd love to see it. Love to see it. Wednesday shows will stay the same. Sworn Nation, noon, that stays the same. Only Monday is affected. So Monday will be on YouTube starting on January 11th. Um, so 
Pretty much the same format, but it's gonna be like 30 minutes shorter. Um, I think it'll be a, a lot of fun for everyone. And uh, I hope you join me. And please, guys, Jay's been sending me some amazing poems. Really great, and I've been love reading them. So if you have fan art or you have something that you've written and you want me to read, I'd love to do it and I'd love to show it. I want to share the love you guys have for us to the world. So I'd love to do that for you. Okay, next up, we got some stuff for our VIP newsletter. Lots of stuff is going on. Check the time real quick. You have so much fun doing here, I forget what time it is. Oh boy. So we have an after holiday sale and celebration starting December 26th. There will be three days of vaults. Three days of vaults offerings. 26, 27, 28. I've also included, for all you metallic card fans, metal cards from the vault. So check those out. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, let's see. I got a minute. Oh, thank you. Thank you. God, people are beautiful. Um, so yes, first time ever we have offered metallic cards on the vault, from the vault, will be that weekend. I want to say it's going to drop on Monday. Yeah. So it'll be like all a big chunk of metal cards from the vault. Keep your eyes open. Keep them peeled. Because this is your chance to get the last editions of a lot of these metal ones. So uh, if you like the, uh, the, oh God, why can't I think? The Zodiac symbol metal cards. I have some of those in there. A lot of them are last. Uh, last. So there's like gold versions, silver versions. So I have uh, quite a few of those going up uh, for the vault. So this is the first time we are offering metal cards from the vault ever. So hope you guys like it, all you metallic cards fan collectors. This is your chance to get number fours, number fives, and number six. A lot of these, I only have one left. So I only have the one. So if you see it, snag it. These are going to be the last of some of these items. So don't miss out. That'll be the vault sale going on the after holiday sale and celebration to be starting December 26th. Make sure you're there. Check it out. Also, in the newsletter, we have this. Stay frosty, Sword Nation, because we've got something big planned to help keep you in the holidays starting December 26th. But it wouldn't be fun if we told you what it was. Instead, we were going to drop this teaser for you. Like, there is going to be new Lady Death by Sword Song and three new Lady Deaths by Stephen Butler. I've seen them. They are freaking amazing. And I think you guys are going to go nuts. So I'm just going to show you a little teaser. Look at those beautiful eyes. What could it all be? You guys are going to have to stay tuned and find out. Stay tuned and find out. Yes. Uh, expect metallic cards probably on the Monday. I kind of skewed them on Monday because I was like, oh, metallic card Monday sounds fun. So if it stays that way, it's fun. But stay tuned. I got some CGC books, graded books, graded editions, double signed signature series will be included that weekend. Probably the most that we've offered before. So, you want some graded copies, signature series? We got them. They will be uh, dropping on the 26th for our after holiday sale. There will be three days of vault offering. Don't miss out on it. Really cool stuff. <laughs> hey, what's up, Joseph? How are you? Okay. Another thing we've been doing on the VIPs, we've been um, recapping the year. Everyone knows 2020 has been a funky year. Sure, I'm sure 2021 is going to be funky too, but I just like to see this year just go away. Just don't have to see that 2020 anymore and just write something new. I'm not expecting everything to go back to normal that quick. I, I, I realize that, but it'll just be nice not to say 2020 anymore. <laughs> so... The year of review in the VIP's new letter, we did April through June. It's been one wild ride this year, and we can't believe it's almost over. In the face of all the challenges, we still managed to have a blast with you guys and gals. And that's true. We had so much fun. So much fun. Uh, without you by our side, we couldn't have made it through 2020, and that is no lie. That is a fact, people. Thank you. 
We are very humbled and we are grateful for all you guys do for us, for all the support and all the love you guys share. Um, from the bottom of all of our hearts, thank you very much um, for making this really weird year a good one for all of us. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed what we've been really trying to push and try to keep things light and fun and just keeping us all laughing and keeping us all together as a community. So thank you very much, guys. Um, in April 2020, we had an, um, an artist celebration with Joel Gomez. Um, really, it was a lot of fun there. You can also click on the link and see the YouTube video of that. Jimmy did amazing interviews with the artist celebrations earlier this year, and um, I really think you guys should watch that. Uh, we held a Lady Death Don McTeague edition coloring contest, and the winner was uh, Nicelin M. And this is what they turned in, and this is what they took first place for us. So that was our winner for the Don McTeague uh, Artist Celebration uh, coloring contest. We also had an Artist Celebration with Don McTeague. So uh, on here, if you subscribe to the VIP's newsletter, click on those links and watch those amazing videos. We did a hell of a good time. I thought we were really doing everything we could, considering everything just went, you know, and we just went, we just stood right up. It's like, all right, let's do this. Let's, let's make it happen. And I think we did. All right. Right now, it's uh, the swarm. We ha currently have 1,000... Point four members. That's pretty awesome. I really love the Sworn Nation. It's been a lot of fun interacting with you guys. And not only that, we decided to do a show at the Sworn Nation. So thank you very much, guys, who've been following us on that show. We had a Hell Witch Mike DeBalfo edition coloring contest, and the winner was Lee R. And this is what Lee R did, and this was his winning submission. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I agree with you, Carmen. It, it was a blast. It was a blast. And in May of 2020, we launched May the 4th Be With You, exclusive uh, from David Harrigan. Every uh, May the 4th, uh, we do Star Wars homage editions. And um, this year, uh, we had a double whammy, and they did really well. Um, also this year in May, the... Lady Death Seductress Statue and Legacy Action Figures went on sale, so we did the uh, pre-order uh, for those items. And in January, we will be shipping the statue here. Beautiful, beautiful piece. I wish I had it out here to show y'all. Um, if I have time, I'll definitely... Yes, I agree, I agree. There's the action figure coming out. I have announcements on that. We also had an artist celebration with Mike DeValfo, which was another really big, fun event um, for those who joined us and um, partook. Excuse me for a second. I need to get a drink of water. I'm running out of saliva. Made me hot to talk. Also in May, we launched the Lawrence Retaliation Kickstarter, which amazing another thing we did which we hadn't done in a long time in june we launched the lady death swimsuit number one summer of sin editions uh with mike chrome those were crazy you guys went nuts for those those were a lot of fun it was kind of neat to see a swimsuit edition back after years of just not being around but yeah haley Thank you for joining us. It's always a pleasure for you being here with us. Um, everyone, let's give a nice goodbye to Haley. I guess she's got to go to work. Hope you have a wonderful day, Haley, and I'm sure we'll be seeing you uh, on the boards and in the room. So thank you. I hope uh, you and yours have a wonderful day. All right. Lady Death Treacher's Infamy Kickstarter update. We are packing everything. Um, I don't know if it shows up in the background, but you can hear the tape ripping be put on those boxes we were packing stuff before i did the show i packed a couple uh kickstarter uh edition or editions orders along with a couple store orders just to mean get the room in and get everything mailed out to you guys in a timely manner so we're heading towards the finish line all hands are on deck 
We've been working extra hours both before and after work to get this stuff done, and we've been working Saturdays, a lot of us. So we have been here six days a week. Brandy has been showing up at 5.30, 6 o'clock every morning to get these orders packed and ready to go for you, and she sometimes is not leaving till 6 p.m. So she's putting a lot of hours, so I know you people, just be patient. We're getting them out. It was one of our biggest Lady Death Kickstarters, I'm sure you all know, and um, that's all to you guys. So it's gonna take us a little extra time, but we're almost done. You've been seeing the pictures we've been posting on Facebook and in the group, so trust me, all hands are in there real quick. If I could bring the camera out, if, out there, I would, but I don't reveal any secrets in case there's secrets out there. The same, the same, but look at all those boxes. We have been working Saturday. We had a full crew in here on Saturday. Look at all those boxes. All those boxes. Who are those two handsome devils? Why, it's Jimmy Coffin and myself, the hooligan, packing and putting labels on boxes so we can get things shipped out. It, it was a lot of fun. Um, and we always go an extra mile for you folks, so we definitely don't lay around. We're, we're always busy. Uh, Hellwitch stretch goals have started to arrive, including the Hellwitch buttons. These things look gorgeous. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> I don't get to pull the orders, man. I just get to uh, pack them. A uh, couple of them uh, I pulled with the uh, two weeks ago I started working in the warehouse. So for two weeks, we've been in there all working our butts off, getting orders out. Um, getting the Kickstarters packed, so it's it's been a hell of a ride for us. We're all tired. We're ready for the holiday season. Oh, here's some more of the Hell Witch Kickstarter stuff. Whoa, that's that's woo, sexy. Also, 2021 teasers in here. Coffin Comics have received in-house covers for the Folly Comic Book Luminaries. Howard Chaikin. Michael Golden, Tyler Kirkham. Stay tuned next year to see what they have cooked up for us. We have a holiday shipping advisory. Real quick, due to heavy volume during this holiday season at UPS and Coffee Comics HQ, there will be unexpected shipping delays. Thank you for understanding. It has been nuts. It has been nuts. But we're coming in every day. We're staying extra. We're staying late. We're working on Saturdays to get things out for you guys. So thank you for your patience. Lady Death suggests your statue shipping update. Early January 2021. Great news for those who pre-ordered the Lady Death Seductress statue. The wait is almost over. Eight pallets of the Seductress statues were picked up from the manufacturer heading to HQ. This, of course, depends on the weather and customs. Always people trying to get in our way, but cough and don't play. Move them aside. Get them out. Our estimate date to, uh, is early 2021. We have sent out balance due invoices for all pre-orders, so check your emails if you pre-ordered the statutes. Um, please, please, please check your emails. How much time do we got? How much time do we got? Oh, skip it. All right. It was hot. All right. Next up. On the horizon, December 14th, we'll be doing a show here. That's today. Uh, Wednesday show here. Also, guys, just so you know, there will be only three more shows here on the CBSN. Then we are moving to YouTube. Here's what we got. January 2021, Seductor Statue. February 2021, Lady Death, Cataclysmic Majesty. I can't believe I said that without fumbling my words. Kickstarter launches. Uh, pre order start for the Hell Witch six inch figure the first quarter of 2021. May 2021, La Muerta Onslaught Kickstarter la launches. Second quarter 2021, pre order start for the La Muerta six inch action figure. That's the figure I'm waiting for. I can't wait to see it. Uh, in August, we will be doing the Lady Death Sacrificial Annihilation Kickstarter. October 2021, Hell Witch versus Lady Death, Wargasm Kickstarter. Here we go. There is, zoom in for you. 
So there is what to expect coming up 2021. I know a lot of people have been wanting this um, Hell Witch versus Lady Death. It's coming, guys. Wargasm. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Mm. Good ice. Good ice. Okay. So in case any of you folks were wondering, him and Han, about what to get that special someone in your life, well, we still have a few items left. Now, we've definitely still have some more naughty additions, so get those while the stock is still available. We still have masterpieces. Oh, I know, Carmen. It's going to be great. Devil Lock? You mean... <laughs> well, you just have to see, Jay. You just have to see. Get ready for some excitement. We also still have the Lady Death collection. This has 10 volumes of the Lady Death Coffin Comics editions. And also included is this nice little bonus pack we have included with it. There's still a few commemorative coin sets left as the 25th anniversary challenge coins as well. We also have bunches of hol lovely holiday prints as well. 11 by 17s. Get them while we got them. And again, I got to just show off this wonderful Moonshine Mel did all of this at HQ. It looks amazing. It's really nice to come in here and it's like, wow, this looks really cool. So uh, a round of applause to uh, Moonshine Mel for another beautiful decoration and decorating of HQ. Thank you very much. All right. So here's some stuff I have for you guys. On the catacombs, I have three copies of Don McTeague's Draw Art Book. I have a Hell Witch Jeweled Edition. This is Scratch and Dent. We have some Lady Death homages, also Scratch and Dents available. I have a couple copies left of the Nightmare Symphony Secret Editions. These are Scratch and Dent. There we go. There is the Vampire Hollow Foil. The Karamiya Hollow Foil. First appearance, Leviathan. This is a scratch and dent as well. We have some hollow foils, Nightmare Symphony. Also, I have a chase edition. Get in there, fiddlesticks. Merciless Onslaught chase edition. I have one there and I have one that's a scratch and dent and this is the blue. So if you want the blue, well, I got one. Nice prices, nice prices. This is Josh. Hi, Josh, how are you? It's good to see you again, my friend. Uh, holidays treating you well. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Mel did a very awesome job, Jay. Uh, sincerely, I was really knocked out. We came in here and she just had this all done. So let's take a look here at HQ. We have lots of stuff laid out for Brian. Oh, it looks like someone's ordering these already. So all this stuff is laid out for Brian. Sign for y'all. We also got tables set up all in here. So... Just to show you guys, yes, there is a lot going on. One of the new guys is out there grabbing orders and getting them filled as quickly as possible. Um, the young man is really busting his butt to pick these orders so he can get them laid out to get signed or get them into our hands so we can pack and get them shipped out. So there you guys go. Oh. That, there's, there's that statue I was telling you about. And also, coming up next year, guys, we're going to do a Kickstarter for those statues. So that's something else to look out for. Where's my order? I don't know. Probably in the back room. Let's, let's, let's interview Brandy if she's available. Look at all these books laid out to get signed. Look at all these books, guys. All these beautiful books. Look at all these boxes, guys. <sighs> This is where we had to put these boxes because they were going to take up too much room. So this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning of all of this. All of this. My gosh, it seems like everywhere we go throughout HQ, there is just more and more stuff to be found. <clears throat> Pardon me. See, there's a lot getting done out here. 
Madam Presidente, Jimmy Coffin's helping everybody. Look at that. Everyone's house. Look, everybody, look. He got free. He got free. Jeff Coop, he made it. He's free. He's free. <laughs> Freedom for Jeff, everybody. Freedom for Jeff. Come on. Just, no, he needs freedom. Hi, everybody. Look at Brandy. How how busy are we in here? Oh, yes. Because of all of you, we love you. We appreciate you all. Be patient with the shipping companies. They're very bogged down. So USPS, FedEx, Amazon, they're very bogged down. So they're very overloaded. I even read somewhere they're renting trucks and semis just to help get ordered uh, mail out. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's insane. So. so. Treacherous infamy will be shipping December 2020. Yes. So, yeah, you there you go, guys. Look at that. We're not joking. We have boxes everywhere. The orders are shrinking, so we're seeing daylight. Look at all these boxes. This is all for you. All of this. Look at all this. We've been busy, busy, busy. Look at that. We are not playing here, everybody. There is a ton of orders. This Kickstarter was outrageous outrageous it's like all you beautiful people are you're all outrageous we love you for it yes just justice for jeff <laughs> poor jeff um yeah also uh miguel keep those beans flowing because man those are those are amazing this here's the uh luxury prints coming soon i'm looking forward Getting more of these in your guys' hands. Oops, let me turn that because if I try to put this back on my tripod, it's going to be funky, funky. All right. Bink, bink, bonk. So, Real quick, uh, for those who missed it, um, Jay Taylor, again, wrote another amazing poem for us. Like I say, guys, if you have poems or if you have original art and you want to show it off, send it here to HQ. I would love to show it to everyone at home. I love Jay's poems. Do you guys have something similar or you have ideas? Bring them to me. I'd love to show off your stuff. So this is A Coffin Christmas by Jay Taylor. Um, I read it earlier, but I, I, I have to read it twice. Uh, Brandy was here with me um, reading along. So it's the week before Christmas and all through HQ. Kickstarters are packed. Yes, more than a few. You saw it. <laughs> There's a ton. The package is stacked in the warehouse with care. Yeah, you saw the stacks. For UPS and FedEx, ground and air. Yep. The fiends, we await for that email of wonder. Your shipment, your order has shipped, and we cheer loud like thunder. Francisca and Brian sit down to finally rest, knowing the coffee crew has done their best. Yes, and we're not done yet. We're still going. We're still going. We're going to keep on going. The crew, the crew have worked long days and long hours. Yes. Exhausted, they ate. Longing for showers. Yes. <laughs> All except one, of course, hopped up on coffee. Brandy leaks, leaks, <laughs> leaks packages to send to the Aussies. New kids blasting for speakers right and left, while some of the screw scream out, Justice for Jeff. Hooligan assembles the medals in his shop. I did that today, I did that Saturday, and I did it Friday. It looks like I got all the medals down. Thank gosh. His life feeds are awesome with fun that don't stop. Uh, when out in the lot, a sound also gnarly, Coffin Claws appears on a skull laden Harley. I come for the books, the prints, and the cards to give to the sworn, the fiends, and diehards. His bag loaded up with goods strapped to his back to del deliver to those who are sworn to the black. I screwed that one up. Sorry, Jay. As he rides off, he looks to the right. Jimmy and the boy sound off with he who flees the light. He bangs his head and dries out of sight saying Merry Christmas to all. To all a good night. Jay Taylor, everyone. Jay Taylor. Again, thank you, Jay. I love it. <laughs> uh, I'll go pick up my orders. 
No, you can't come here. You're not coming here, Miguel. You. Okay. All right. So real quick, um, it's been a lot of fun doing the Monday shows here. Um, we are making changes. We will be going to YouTube uh, January 11th. I believe that should be the following Monday after the 4th. Yeah. <laughs> so January 4th will be our last show here on this platform of CBSN. I'd like to thank uh, them for allowing us to do this show. Uh, it was interesting because you know we're, we're not a comic shop, we're an actual publisher. Um, so it was really nice to be invited to do this and our first show was in February of this year. Um, and when we were at our shutdown, I did the show from my home for 10 shows, 10 episodes I did at my house. I had one of my nephews as a cameraman and uh, sometimes my lovely kitty Tiny would sometimes hop on the table uh, to look at what I was doing and, you know, meow at me. So uh, this year's been interesting. This year's been, I, I think, something none of us ever expected or experienced. Um, but doing these shows has been a lot of fun. I've gotten to know a lot of you guys. Um, I, I've had a, a really good time. I've had a lot of laughter. And um, I just really appreciate you guys. Uh, I was a nervous wreck doing the first few episodes, I think you might recall. And then when I was doing it from home, I seemed to get a little more relaxed and, and what have you. Um, so it's been a fun year. Uh, thank you again, everybody, for making me feel very welcome doing these shows and being here at Coffin Comics. And uh, on a personal note, it was exactly two years this week that I uh, got a text from a friend uh, looking for help here in the warehouse, and I told them I would love to take the job, and I interviewed uh, two years ago. Um, and I've been loving it ever since. Uh, this, this year, uh, I stepped out of the warehouse and did inside sales and wholesale accounts, um, and it's been a blast. It's really been nice working with you guys, and um, it's been nice to have you guys invite me into your homes and into your workspaces uh, with these silly little videos of me showing off our wares and just pipping all our stuff, uh, and thank you guys for just eating it up and really keeping things fun. Uh, making me say things three times that you know I can't say because I get tongue-tied. Miguel and Haley, I'm looking at you two uh, specifically. So, uh oh, what, what does Miguel have to say? Hooked up phonics work. F you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Miguel. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I got the job too, Jay. Um, I've known Brian and Fran for 26 years. Uh, I first met Brian uh, when I was at Atomic Comics um, selling Godzilla merchandise and he introduced me to this guy named Brian that liked Godzilla stuff and um, I asked Brian, oh, what do you do? And you know, I figured he was just a fan that you know, had a regular job and he's like, oh, I write comics. I'm like, what do you write? He's like, oh, Evil Ernie and Lady Death and my jaw hit the floor because I, I was a big fan of uh, the Evil Ernie series and also a fan of Lady Death. And it was just so nice to be like, oh my God, I, the guy who created two books I really enjoyed uh, is a big Godzilla nut like me. And so is his wife. So uh, it, it was a lot of fun. And I promised myself if I ever had an opportunity to uh, work for the Politos, I would take it. And when I saw that text message from Fran in early December two years ago, yeah, I jumped at the chance. Um, so it's been fun. I've met a lot of you and it's been a blast. So thank you everybody uh, for a really fun year and a year that was full of just funkiness. So, uh-oh, who's that? Who's that? It, it, it's Brian and look what he's doing. He's signing all these papers. Gotta it, he's gotta do it, he's just doing it. it. And when he's done, he's here helping out in the warehouse. So we're all here, we're all helping. Out. We're all trying to get this stuff so you guys can have a coffin Christmas because there's so much stuff loaded up. I mean, I literally, I think we feel like Santa's little helpers. So uh, there is a lot of stuff <laughs> that you guys saw. That's why I did a pan of everything to show you guys, hey, we're not, you know, sitting back and hey, it's almost all this season. We're actually, the end of the year is probably the hardest we work for you guys. Coffin uh, don't play. We don't play. 
we we just work hard and we play hard after work so thank you again guys uh, again January 4th will be the last uh, show we'll be doing at this platform we're going to be moving to YouTube the following week so sign up for Coffin Comics TV on YouTube that's our YouTube channel Jimmy and I have been you know kicking around fun ideas on things we could do uh, there on YouTube and uh, hopefully we can get those out to you and you guys can enjoy the fun of some of the weird programming um, a lot of us are popping up in our heads so you know, I, we're looking forward to it. Uh, I'll be happy when this year's over. I'm not expecting everything to just blow away and everything's hunky-dory. I'm just glad I don't have to say it's 2020 anymore. I can say it's 2021 because it's something different. <laughs> so, um, thank you again. If anyone has any questions, again, please send them to inquiries at coffincomics.com. And I want more poetry. I want fan art. I want to see this stuff so I can show you guys all the love you have for us because what Jay Taylor has been doing has been amazing. And I love reading his poetry. Um, his Christmas one again, <laughs> it knocked it out of the park, brother. Um, you got a talent. I like it and I, everyone else is loving it. And I can't wait to see fan art. So I challenge you guys, fan art, poems, maybe little silly stories or maybe a personal story about what Coffin Comics or our characters mean to you. I would love to read it out loud if that's what you would like. But we're here for you. You guys have been here for us. We have developed a hell of a community this year, and I'm looking forward to next. So without further ado, I take my hat off to you. Thank you very much, guys. It has been a lot of fun. Carmen, I'm glad you got that um, stretch goal pack that you uh, were missing. So I'm glad you scooped that up as soon as you saw it. Um, Jay, no, I, we didn't just like it. I loved it. Um, these poems are really, really, they, they make me happy. I get giddy when every time I hear you're doing another one, and I look forward for the emails for that. So thank you very much, guys. Um, I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm here at HQ. I'm going to jump on out and start packing up some of your boxes and your orders. Um, thank you very much for joining me today. Everyone have a beautiful day. Have an even better week. I'll see you Wednesday. Swarm Nation. Basta. Stay swarm, baby. Stay safe. We love you all. Bye-bye.